decides to convert him into a motorcycle. Arrested by the police because he has an illegal car. Original camera from the Moroccan desert. But see, he tied a he tied a string to the top there. He's from way across the way. Like yeah, genius, isn't it? Must have cut that off, or so I wouldn't have thought it'd been that tiny. Yeah, but it's short. I do need to take that rack off. This is this is. Yeah, that's how it drives. <laughs> this rubs on the tire. Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, my name is Drew Casper and I'm the curator of the collection. And I'm Doug Malone, I'm the Director of Vehicle Operations here at MDCC. My name is Emil Loret. My name is Philip and I'm with Emil to help him translate his adventure. Ça aussi c'était long à faire. Ça c'est très très long, c'est des barres de direction. J'aurais pu faire un système plus précis. C'est d'ailleurs pour ça qu'elle est difficile à conduire, parce que tu vois, il y a, il y a vachement de jeux. Euh, ouais. Et il aurait fallu que je fasse un système plus précis avec les, les barres de direction. Mais c'est compliqué qu'une fois que tu as fait un choix, tu es. Yeah, once you, you made the choice, you know, it's difficult to, to go and go forward or rewind. So this piece would have normally been turned the other way? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you had to cut one centimeter here to make it. Pour pouvoir l'embrancher, il fallait que j'enlève. Go la into the. Yeah, and this part was difficult. This is what the steering column was before? Uh, is that what that is? C'est quoi? C'était la colonne de direction, ça? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Mais ça, tu, je, peux, je peux pas utiliser ça. C'est ah. trop les multiplier. Sur une moto, il faut que ce soit comme un vélo, il faut que ce soit direct. Ah. Si c'est démultiplié, si tu mets un volant, ça devient direct. C'est ce que fait les, 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 les Canadiens, la colonne ah. de la... C'est-à-dire démultiplier, uh, ça, rien. Yeah. You couldn't use this one, he says, because uh, to... Trop démultiplié, c'est pas utilisé. Démultiplié, c'est pas utilisé. Mais bon, après, une fois que tu as fait un choix, tu peux plus revenir. C'était yeah. ça qui était compliqué. Once you did your choice, you can't rewind. Il y a peut-être moyen de faire mieux, mais euh, après. Euh, Say maybe you can do better, but uh, yeah. once you made the choice. And you said the guys from. Uh, what was the, c'est quoi le type de l'émission déjà? Mythbusters. Yeah. Ouais. Yeah. They, they did use that then. Ils ont utilisé ça? Eh oui. Ouais. Ils ont gardé le volant, ils ont mis un volant à la place. Yeah. yeah. And that's why. C'est trop démultiplié. Uh, they failed. Tu fais ça avec le volant, la, la, la roue est déjà pleine de ça. Ouais. Donc, euh, sur un deux roues, un vélo, il faut, il faut, il faut, il faut que ce soit le plus direct possible. Uh -huh. Et ça, c'était, ah, c'est ce que j'avais trouvé le plus, le plus direct. Et là, il y, y a énormément de, de jeux. C'est ouais. pour ça que c'est si difficile. Si la direction était plus précise, j'aurais pu euh, moins casser la gueule. Yeah. Uh, gearbox. The, the, the gearbox and it was too too complicated. Too complicated. So is this like a clutch to release, or what, what's this lever for? C'est le voyage ça. Ça c'est ça c'est c'est le voyage. Ça ça c'était très long à installer. Cette pièce là, tu vois, ça ça c'est intéressant parce que ici t'as une fourchette d'origine. Je vais lui montrer sur la la deux pattes. Ça c'est le ça, cette pièce là, elle vient d'ici. Ah. Yes. That with a tool is very interesting. 
une pièce, une pièce vraiment très, très intéressante pour tout ça. Et uh -huh. to the gear shift. Uh, oui, c'est ça. Oui, c'est ouais. la commande de, de, de vitesse. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. C'est vraiment amazing. C'est <laughs> vraiment amazing. Ouais, c'est assez fou. Ça, j'ai cramé un moteur comme ça dans yeah. le air. Il veut le voir en anglais. Il a mangé du sable, le moteur. Yeah. Euh, C'était au Niger. Uh. J'ai vendu à la frontière de, de Niger un douanier. Il a voulu. Ah, ouais. Le moteur était mort, il avait bouffé du sable. Par là, hein. You are ready, Philippe, for the show. I'm ready. Get ready. Get ready. Okay. I don't think, uh, Emil, I don't think that'll meet California emissions though, but, no. but uh, we got it going. <laughs> you had to put oil in it, and what kind of oil did you use? 10W40 oil. 10W40? About two and a half quarts, or about, uh, about two and a quarter quarts. So. Okay. Then you bypass the regular bypass the gas tank, gas tank and run fuel out of a gas can, and that's all it took. As far as the battery, you just jumped it. The jump box. The jump box. Started pretty easy. A little bit of starting fluid. It did start easy. Yeah. Well, the presentation, you know. But there's a lot of smoke, maybe, for the audience. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The smoke huh? wasn't yeah. as bad. Not, yeah. So. No. Was as you'd hoped? Yeah. He said, that's what you wanted? Yes, yes, yes. I am very happy. Yeah. Except it's going to take a shower now, because... It smells really, really hot, you know. Well, this guy was good, also, you know, because... Yeah, I did perfect work on it. Be split in pieces. And I, that's when I was looking at all the pictures on the internet yeah. to try and figure out. I was yeah. like, ah, oh, yeah. but that didn't take. It's pretty uh, self explanatory. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh? He's going to play some basketball. Yeah. Uh, These basketball players are like 6, 7, 6, 8. But it's finished. They're going to break a bra, one jambe. That's right. Fracture du poignet. So he broke his, his wrist. Uh, and his leg. Playing football? Yeah. Uh, I have Rugby? I have fair eye on it now. Oh, he's got some iron in his leg. It's like a Hey, Boston, put this on three. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, also during our travels together, Philippe likes to wear this really dapper hat, very French and very suave and dapper. So, and I, I looked at that all week long. And I thought, what this guy really needs in the middle.
Um, many of you are probably wondering how we actually got this bike here, and I will sort of explain that story to you. It all started about a year ago, and I got an email from Ward Morgan, who is one of the founders of the Midwest Dream Car Collection, an article written by the Vintage News. Read this whole article, and it was about Emile LeRae and his amazing feat of turning the Citroen 2CV, or Do Chevaux as they call it in France, turned it into a motorcycle to escape the desert. Started looking across the internet to see if I could find anywhere that would that had this bike or that would sell this bike, and uh, I actually came across a Facebook page that Emile had, and. Uh, and I wrote them an email because it had an email on it. So I wrote the email, not expecting it to work, and I kind of didn't expect them to speak English, but I got a response from Phil. I asked him if, if they'd sell the bike. He said, yeah, we'll sell the bike, but we have no way to value something so unique. So they asked what we would pay for it. And eventually, Ward and I sort of talked, and we decided on a number that we thought was fair, and we offered it to them. And uh, somehow we made a deal and I wrote sort of an affidavit that meant uh, we would get the bike, we would get all of the artifacts that came with it, and the story along with the bike, all for the museum. We were happy with the result and I think they were happy with it too. The whole story of how we sort of started this. Thank you, Drew. And uh, first I would like to thank you all for coming here. For your fantastic welcoming. I mean, all the crew here is, you know, their mom. So thank you to Walt and Brenda Morgan and all the team, you know, Drew, this young guy, uh, Doug, uh, Nick, the mechanic. I can't uh, remember all the names, I'm sorry, Sarah for welcoming us in our house. You know, it was really a good time here. Thank you. So thank you to everybody first. And then uh, thank you to Emil, you know, because without him I wouldn't, wouldn't be here too. So he's the star, he's going to come on stage after this. So this is a little movie we did to explain a uh, few mechanic tricks uh, Emil used in the desert because he had no really uh, for example, to make a hole in the metal. He had no machine, etc. etc. So, this is a very little movie showing few tricks uh, that if ever you fall, you know, you have a problem in the desert, then you can make this out. So, there's the little movie.
crazy the world smells. So it gives you an idea. With pleasure. Where are your parents? I am. Food's all over the world, you know. Because it's very difficult to drive. You know, it's not like a bike. Uh, one thing we even told is the principle of the the motor and the way the wheels turns. It's the principle, I mean, that maybe you know this uh, French um, kind of vibe called Solex, you know, with the galley. So he used the, the reverse, you know, to go forward. So the reverse is not uh, that powerful. So you, you can't go, you know, uh, 100 miles uh, <laughs> per hour, you know, was quite a, so told him to get away because at the time uh, there was a, a tension, not a war, but really big tension between the pol uh, Polisario uh, at the border of Morocco and Algeria. So he was stopped by the stopped by the military, who told him get away, don't go that way. So he pretended to obey. Of course, and when he when he did his bike and uh, tried to to ride it, you know, uh, he was arrested by the same military, and uh, they were not very happy with him. So <laughs> they arrested him, arrested him, and uh, they bring him to Tantan. Yeah, they bring him to Tantan with the with the bike, which was. Quite difficult. You had to repair their own track to put the back in it. So, <clears throat> and uh, you know, they kept the bike, they wanted to keep it. And uh, because you were saying, well, it's not really a dish of the visit. <laughs> so they kept it, and uh, he has to pay uh, a ticket of uh, 450 uh, dollars. You know. Around this, and they kept the bike, and he has to come back later to to get it again. You know, Dushigo, uh It means you know, for example, uh, you know, V8 engines. So it's V2. <laughs> That's it. Huh? If there's no other question, thank you again for your work. You are wonderful. You are love. Thank you very much. I'd like to let you know up here in the cabinet is the original camera that we took the pictures with. You can see the selfie stream and how he rigged that. The, the police report and the ticket that he was issued were up there. And the pictures that he took. Uh, so come look in the case and see some of that really cool stuff that the guys have sent with the live. Thank you all for coming. Please stay and enjoy the food and the drinks and the vision with the new Thank you.